So, for today's review, I took inspiration from a podcast I listened to, Switchblade Sisters, where Lottie P. Knowles, the writer of Chastity Falls, talked about The Legacy from 1978. It sounded interesting, so I gave it a look. Review after the jump cut. Our movie begins with an architect, played by Catherine Ross, and her boyfriend, played by Sam Elliott, getting hired on a kind of shady job in England to do interior design work. They're getting paid 50 grand and have 10 days before the job starts, so they decide to go to England and just kind of travel around and make a vacation of it. They get in a motorcycle accident and are found by Jason Mount Olive, a very rich, posh man who invites them back to his house for tea. For God's sake, don't move. Now then, you both all right? Oh, yeah, yeah, we're fine. Just fine. It's this big, beautiful house, which they immediately have sex in the second they're left alone, (laughs) which is weird. Like, hello, stranger. Uh, We're going to go upstairs and uh, nap. Nap. After their nap, a helicopter arrives with the who's who of England. A whole bunch of rich people appear and there's something off. Anytime our main characters mention Jason Mount Olive, there's a pause or a nervous chuckle or they change the subject. They obviously know something that we and the main characters don't know. Yeah, Reg? Who's that? Pete Danner. Pete what? Danner. Oh, yes, Mr. Danner. Uh, the smashed up triumph. Jason Mount Olive brought us in. Oh, yes. How's it looking? What a good likeness. Yes. Mr. Mount Olive was a very striking person. Was. We'll be serving drinks shortly if you'd like to join us. Enchanté, mademoiselle. Mm, hello. See? They're okay, really. Almost human. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Mr. Mount Olive? Uh, he is upstairs, of course. Oh. Not to mention the fact that the staff can magically disappear. And they keep talking about Jason Mount Olive's impending death, even though he has seemed perfectly healthy to us. Hey, Harry. Mr. Mount Olive is fading fast. We won't be seeing him much more. But I know you will be very patient. And I know I can rely on you. Well, who's going to be the master of the house? While we don't know exactly what is going on until the very end, our suspicions that something is going on is confirmed just 37 minutes in. When Catherine Ross, all the people from the helicopter, and a famous rock star, played by Roger Daughtry, are called together to meet with Jason Mount Olive. My legacy is past, immeasurable. The ring each of you wears is the symbol of power. Catherine Ross is called forward to get a ring of her own. Overall, it's a really 
really well-made movie. A lot of good people involved. The director directed Return of the Jedi. The editor did uh, Lawrence Arabia and uh, Murder on Orient Express. It has Sam Elliott and Catherine Ross, who are great together. They're married in real life. They've been together for 40 years. They met on this movie, so obviously had chemistry. It just really works. There's a couple things I don't really like. There's like a 15-minute chase scene that literally goes nowhere. They're on a circular path back to the house so they can never leave because she's drawn to be part of this and eventually convinces Sam Elliott to just accept it and to try to figure out what their fate is. Whether it's good or bad, you have to accept your fate sort of thing. This is definitely Catherine Ross's movie. It's about her, and she happens to have a boyfriend who tags along. The other characters in the movie even mention that they didn't know this other guy was coming. It's not like the normal of, oh, she's in distress and needs the guy to save her. She's the focus. It's all about her, and the movie always was about her. You might have saw him in one clip. Roger Daughtry's in this movie. He has the most hilarious death scene. Lots of death in this movie. I didn't show it to you, but yeah, a lot of death. Uh, the house is his in real life. He let him film there if he could be in the flick. I'll leave links in the description so you can listen to Switchblade Sisters talk about this movie. They do a much better job than I can. Not only because I'm doing 5 minutes and they're doing 50, but also because they're much better at reviewing movies than me because they're professional movie reviewers and I'm some jack-off on the internet. Thank you for watching, and as always, I shall try to do better next time. Oh yeah, by the way, all the servants are shapeshifters that can turn into cats. That's the thing. Now, as you all know, Mr. Mount Olive... Uh, excuse me. Can I help you, ma'am?